rap time, baby. Ha ha ha. While everybody's gone and on vacation, rap's giving the fans what the fans want, and that's more of rap. I mean, come on, how could you not? Want more of wrath, right, bruh? But this isn't about wrath right now. I mean, it should be. But let's talk about Kevin Feige, bruh. That brother right now is doing everything that he can, right? And he cannot seem to get the accolades that he deserves. Kathleen Kennedy can do whatever she wants, but she seems to get away with murder. Meanwhile, people are hitting uh, Kevin Feige with the, oh, so you're going to release Avengers Endgame with some new footage? That's kind of cheating if you're trying to take the place of Avatar. Hey, newsflash, everybody. Avengers Endgame is already the highest grossing film of all times. It's already beat Avatar. Avatar had a re-release too. Or have we all forgotten? Avatar was released in December of 2009, bro. And then it was re-released in July of 2010. And Avatar's original release, bro, it was like $2.7 billion, bro. That's how much Avatar did. Guess what? It, no, it was two. Yeah, it was 2.74, bro. A Avengers Endgame is already 2.75. Avengers Endgame has already won. Why don't they get the title, brah? Why are they getting ripped off? So guess what? Kevin Feige is just doing what Avatar did, and he's going to re-release with some extra footage, and they should easily be able to pass Avatar. But it's interesting to me how people seem to forget history. Avatar already had a re-release as well. Kevin Feige, you're the champion, bro. You released your movie. You beat Avatar. You are the champion. Sing it, queen. <laughs> Rap time. We'll see you next time. Honey. Super fan show. <laughs>